Santa is already on the move in some parts of the world. You and your family can check his whereabouts on noradsanta.org. That's the website to find out when jolly old St. Nick will be in your neck of the woods. It's all thanks to the help of our U.S. military and our Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr is here with this hard-hitting story. Good morning, Barbara. Always tracking military news from Washington, <laughs> even on Christmas Eve. Uh, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, the U.S. and Canadian military, on high alert this morning for a very happy reason. They are tracking Santa Claus. He has now been seen out, as you see on this website, out in the far Pacific. They are tracking his movements. They've been doing this for over 50 years every Christmas Eve for those children who believe around the world. Undeterred by war and troubles, Santa will visit every country where there are those who believe he will make every effort to get to everyone, we are told. Now, what are the special Specs involved in some of this. Kids like to know the specs on the equipment they're dealing with. We from the military have the specifications on Santa's sleigh. Let me just give some of them to you. His sleigh will have the length, does have the length of 75 candy canes, width 40 candy canes, height 55 candy canes, weight at takeoff. 75,000 gumdrops, that does not include Santa's weight and the weight of the reindeer. In several hours when Santa Claus approaches North American airspace, Canadian and U.S. fighter jets will launch. They will escort Santa across North America. They will not be armed. Santa doesn't go for that sort of thing, of course. Um, and if you are worried that Santa's highly secure, highly classified flight plan might get hacked, by some bad people out there, you do not have to worry. The U.S. military, our sources have assured us that Santa's flight plan is highly secure and that he will not be hacked. He doesn't put up with that sort of thing either. 